Welcome back everybody. On today's video, we're going to be making a um, little snack food. Holidays coming up here shortly. We also were in the heart of football season. I hope your team's doing better than mine. We had a little rough, rough patch this year, but hey, we, we're still fans, right? We're going to do some barbecued peanuts and also a sweet honey glazed peanut on the pellet cooker. Come on back, I'm gonna show you how easy this recipe is. All right, the nice thing about it is uh, each of these recipes is for 16 ounces of dry roasted nuts. Now, the jar I had in the opening shot, 35 ounces. So I sacrificed for the team and ate three ounces for quality assurance checks, okay? Um, split the other two evenly. Let's get rid of these a second. Just slide them back here. Oh, don't pay attention to that. That's for last night. All right, each recipe calls for two tablespoons of melted butter. I already have that in the bowl ready to go. We're going to start with the barbecue peanuts. Calls for a third cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. I, of course, you guys know my relationship with Uncle Steve. Great guy, very generous in the barbecue community. So we are gonna measure out about a third cup. And if we get a little more, we get a little more. I told you this recipe was simple, guys. It really is. The next, it calls for cayenne pepper. It calls for one to two tablespoons, depending on how you like it. I'm gonna use the spicier by Uncle Steve. So we are gonna eyeball one or two here. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of that. We're gonna get this mixed up. You've all seen how to mix stuff up before. So I'm gonna finish this off camera. When we come back, we're gonna be doing the candied dry roasted peanuts. In the meantime, I'm gonna go outside, get the smoker set for 325, and we'll see you back. All right, smoker's outside, heating up. Now for the candied one. We have our melted butter in our bowl. Uh, this is some raw honey I get out of uh, Bedford, Pennsylvania. I order it online. It's called Huckleberry Farms. Um, they have different flavored ones. This one happens to be a bourbon flavor. So we're gonna call for a half cup. And then the other, which is gonna be about this little jar, this little bottle. There we go, good enough. Uh, the other thing it calls for is cinnamon and sugar. Well, this just happens to have cinnamon and sugar in it, so. Get this bottle opened up. There we go. And again, this one calls for two teaspoons. So you know what? Let's not do it that way. Let's make it easy. Got our spoon right here. This one will be quite a bit sweeter. There we go. We're gonna get this mixed up. We're gonna get it drizzled in. We'll bring you back for that. Real simple, guys. Drizzle it over the top, stir it up good, pop it in the smoker. We'll let you know how much time it takes when we're outside. All right, here we are, gang, for the barbecue peanuts. Here is what we made with the barbecue sauce and the spicier and the melted butter. I told you guys, this is gonna be a real simple recipe. Grab our spoon. We're gonna get everything tossed around, coated. Make sure everybody gets the love they deserve. There we go. Those are looking pretty good. We're gonna let them set for a minute. We'll bring the other pan over. And do the same 
with that melted butter, the dessert shake, and the honey. Oh. If you're on a diet, this is not for you. <laughs> but it's that holiday time. So the pellet smoker, I can hear it running outside. We are running a Cherry Maple Blend Pit Boss Pellet today. It's their spring blend, I believe it's called. Um, it's what I had on hand, so that's what we're going to use. Um, we're going to finish getting these mixed up. Switch the camera outside by the smoker, and we'll bring you back. All right, you hear your GMG pulsing, you know it's up to temp, right at 325. We're gonna start off with the barbecued nuts first. I'll put them over here on the left side. Uh, the recipe calls 20 to 25 minutes, stirring halfway through. The sweet candy peanuts say 10 to 15. So we're gonna come back in about 10 minutes, give these a stir, and put the candied nuts on as well. There you have it. 10 minutes. Let's get this one in. Got our trusty spoon. Let's give this one a stir. There we go. It's looking really good. Let me bring that up for you. Hopefully the sun's not washing it out too bad, but all right, the smell out here is amazing, by the way. Close the lid. About another 10 minutes. We're gonna take a look at both. The hard part is gonna be having to let them cool for 20 to 25 minutes. But we're gonna do that when we come back and we're gonna give you a taste test. All right. It's been about another five minutes. I just want to check everything. See how that sauce is starting to really tack up here. I'm liking that. Get everything moved around good. Now, let's check the candied ones. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, if you can just see that honey butter mixture on the bottom there. Uh, one thing they do warn you about is not letting the sugar burn. So you're going to want to keep an eye on these a lot closer. So, okay. Five minutes, we'll be done. I'll bring you back for the taste test. Maybe give you a picture or two while they're inside. All right, we have everything out. We gave them a little stir while they're sitting here. Like I said, the cooling time is gonna be hard to deal with because right now, these are smelling incredible. Uh, we'll let them cool, bring you back for the taste test, gang. All right, guys, so there you have it. Really easy, some barbecue and some candied dry roasted peanuts. Now, these are sticky. I love it. Mmm. Nice heat from the, uh, the spicier, but also a little sweet, a little smoky from that Uncle Steve sauce. Really, really good. Now, they want to stick to my fingers. The candy nuts. Mm. That is excellent. Um, like I said, guys, just a couple little ideas here for you. Football food, holiday food. Um, go great next to some oyster crackers, you know, for the holiday season, the seasoned oyster oyster crackers, excuse me. Give this a try. Um, look up Uncle Steve on his website, www.unclestevesshake.com. And don't forget Uncle Steve's Nation on Facebook. 
plenty of good stuff in there. So until next time, see you gang. Take care.